How's it going, you guys? Here to bring you a, a series review. But before I go into my series review, the popular series that I've talked about um, and made episode reviews about, let's go ahead and give a shout out video. I don't, I don't do this a lot, but I'm going to go ahead and do it now. Uh, some people have been, uh, you know, really cool with me on YouTube, and, and I watch a lot of their videos. So I'm going to go ahead and give them a shout out for this uh, particular video. So, one, my dude. Uh, Anime Rick. He makes very, very good videos. If you like uh, movie, movie reviews, TV show reviews, episode reviews, stuff like that, he does a very good job. He's soon gonna start. He's gonna soon start making uh, Naruto chapter reviews or anime chapter reviews, episode reviews. So he's very good with what he does. Um, very good, very good. He's just starting up now. So please, all my subscribers, go check him out. Second person I'm gonna shout out is House of Taigen or Taigen or something like that. I put the uh, all the uh, links to their channels up here. Uh, what he talks about is he does episode reviews too, but of uh, newer kind of episode review reviews, uh, TV show reviews. So Arrow, he does Arrow, he does uh, Supernatural, and some and some other episode reviews as well too. He does a very good job. He also does some anime chapter reviews too, especially dealing with Naruto. So he's very good with what he does. Uh, he's he's coming up on YouTube pretty big. He's getting a lot of views on his uh, channel and stuff like that. But go check him out as well too. A good friend of mine. Uh, and definitely makes wonderful videos. And the last person is Anime Blaze. Now, me and Anime Blaze have come up together here on YouTube. Uh, we talk a lot, especially back on my uh, second channel, which is a uh, new Anime Informer. He is uh, very good with what he does as well, too. Now, he does a variety of topics. Uh, he does podcasts. He does anime reviews. He does chapter reviews. He does everything. And uh, he's very good at what he does. Now, uh, you know, I I've, I've, I've just, I've just haven't gotten a chance to give him a shout-out, but in this video, I'm going to go ahead and do it before I go and get into the video. So go check out those three channels. They're very good at what they do. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the episode, or excuse me, series review of Black Dynamite. That's right. The most hated uh, video, because every time I upload a video, people just dislike it for the heck of it. I don't know why, but they just do. So this series is a uh, very good series. It's a series in my eyes that tried to counteract or counter strike or take down uh, the whole boondocks era. Now, um, when it first came on, you know, I was I was really hyped about it. I really enjoyed the series. It's very good. Uh, but, you know, I think that here's what it did. It took a new path. It made its mark in the whole idea or the whole era of uh, shows like this. So it didn't necessarily beat the boondocks, but it pretty much took a stand to it. And uh, it did very good as well, too. So boondocks. Excuse me, not Boonox, but uh, Black Dynamite, <laughs> excuse me. It was made after a movie. Now, the movie deals with this whole ordeal of um, Black Dynamite is actually the main character. And he's his whole objective is taking down uh, the street king, so to speak, I guess you could say. And they're, they're drug dealers and they're, they're, they have other, you know... Uh, occupations and stuff like that, what they do, they sell drugs, drug street, street dealers, gangsters, stuff like that, and Black Dynamite just rids the street of them. Uh, and, the, and the movie was very good, it got a lot of good reception, uh, so much that they wanted to make a sequel, I heard that was in the works, and they are also, and, and, they, and they went ahead and decided to make an uh, anime uh, show of it. And I think the anime show had 16 to 12 episodes, very good, very, very, very good show. Uh, I focused on the characters were Honeybee, Cream Corn, um, Bullhorn, and Black Dynamite. And basically, their their whole deal was to, just like in the movies, take down these street kings, these drug dealers, and all these other people that would cause havoc on the whole city and each city. And they would just take them down. Now, the episodes were, were very good. Uh, they, were, they, they were really funny, especially the first episode with dealing with Michael Jackson and the O.J. Simpson episode, that was funny, too. You know, I really enjoyed that. The Snoop Dogg, the one with the old Snoop Dogg uh, episode where he was voicing one of the characters were very good. But I think something that uh, really took its toll in uh, this particular series was the voice acting. I don't know how many times, guys, that I have to mention this. When you have a good voice actor, it can make the show so much better. And Michael J. White just voiced Black Dynamite so well. Even though he was the actual character in the show, uh, or in the movie, it just seemed so much more real when he was an actual character. He did a very good job bringing that character to light, to light. And so did Honeybee, and so did Cream Corn, and so did Bullhorn. They were all good as well too. 
But Michael J. White just stood out as, as this character. He brought it to life, so to speak. I know as a voice actor, this is what you're supposed to do. But when you see good voice acting, you just have to give it credit for what it is. Now, the episode, as far as the episodes, they really, were, they, they, they really weren't that long. They went by pretty fast. But I checked in, and it was around 24 minutes or so. So, uh, you know, it, it was something that it kept you interested all the way through. Now, what are some of the drawbacks? Uh, some of the drawbacks that I have to say uh, for the particular series is I felt like um, they could have gave characters more shine. Now, I know what you're saying. Which I, they, they did give the characters more shine within the later episodes. But, I mean, within the earlier episodes. And that's true. But as the episodes started to progress, it seemed like it kind of got a little out of place. Uh, you know, if one episode they were focusing on one character, then they would just go completely off topic and go to some some other character. So it really wasn't focused on um, each character. Now, let me kind of bring that back. Now, with each episode, it had a purpose behind it. So, like, for example, there was one episode that kind of focused on Black Dynamite and him getting uh, evading the IRS. So I guess for, for the people who would come to my video and would say that each episode kind of followed suit to a, to a specific character, I could understand that. But, you know, you got to understand, you know, a whole reason, well, the whole reason to have like these type of series is to have, is to focus on these characters. And I know, I said, man, what the heck is that? I, I, I know sometimes they did, but they just should have gave more characters shine. Like, when you got into the later episodes, you learned about newer characters who would come in. And I just wish that they would just show, give those characters more shine. And part of the reason why is could be because it was only, a, you know, a certain amount of episodes, 12 or 16 episodes. So it wasn't that long. But, you know, I just wish that it could have been longer so they could have just gave these characters more shine. Because it was a very good show. It had potential. And it... It it did good for what it was for for the lane it was trying to go in. But if they would give if they would have a season two, which I heard talks about this, and I heard there was gonna be a season two, I just gotta get, I just gotta have these characters that have more shine. That's one thing that I can say about the Boonox. Even though the Boonox had a little more episodes to go off of, um, you know the, the characters that they brought in and gave them more shine. Each character that was in the Boonox, they had shine. Uncle Ruckus, he had shine. Uh, Huey Riley, of course, they had shine. The grandfather had shine. Um, everybody in the show had equal amount of shine, equal amount of playing time, and it was just, a, and it, that's what just made it so good. Um, the same thing. Now, I'm not saying that you know overall they 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 didn't do it in the in the uh, Black Dynamite, but they could have done it a little better. That's all I'm saying here. Uh, so, yeah. So <laughs> overall, uh, Black Dynamite. What I would give it, I would give it a solid. Uh, I would give it a solid. 10 out of 10. Well, no, no, excuse me, not 10 out of 10. What am I talking about? I would give it a solid 9 out of 10. For for what it was lacking, it helped out for what it presented, I guess you could say. If that kind of makes any sense. So, overall, Black Dynamite, man, you, you two, two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Besides the whole character thing, uh, you know, I really enjoyed it. It had a lot of funny moments to it. Uh, it took a different avenue. Uh, so much that I had to write a lot of stuff down when I was making my reviews and stuff like that. So it, it was very good. I mean, even that Michael, like, I'm still laughing to this day, you know. <laughs> you know, touching, knocking people out and stuff like that. You know, I, I was, it was just funny. It was really good. So Black Dynamite, you got a win from my heart. Um, and if you got... And, and it's time for me to get to my little conceited moment for a second to address these haters. I can't leave this video without addressing the haters. All right, guys. Let me tell you guys. You guys want to hate so much... Guys want to dislike the video. You guys want to make fun of me, all this, that, and the third, and talk about how I don't know what I'm talking about. That's why, and, and, and this is where I'm coming. That's why my video is number one in the searches. If you look at my video right now, type in Black Dynamite Episode 1. My video is number one in the searches. Right after the episodes, you know, you have the episodes uh, where you go to watch it. Right down below, that's my video. So I'm number one. I was the first person on YouTube, on YouTube to get the amount of views that I have to talk about Black Dynamite. Episode that was me. It was me. I brought you guys Black Dynamite episode, you know, um, reviews first. It, it was my thing. So much I had my own show on YouTube. So, guys, I did it. 
That's right. Hate if you want. You can do whatever you want, guys. I'm still getting views. I'm still getting paid off of it. So, so uh, yeah. So, all right, guys. Anyway, I'll check you guys later. Peace. I uh, love you guys. Stay gold.